Hi everyone, my name is Ryan and uh, today I'm super excited to share with all of you this technique. It's called daily breakout. Uh, it's a super technique, uh, super easy to understand, uh, super easy to trade and very, very profitable. All right. So even if you are new to trading, you will find it very easy to understand. If you have been trading for some time already, you might add this as another one of the techniques that for you to trade every day. All right. And uh, don't forget, at the end of this video, I'm going to be announcing today's winner for the US $100. Okay. So without further ado, let's move on to the uh, let's move on to the technique. All right. Okay. So this technique is called daily breakout. Okay, it's a, as I mentioned before, it's a very simple technique to trade, very easy to understand. All right. Okay, so when we look for a setup, right, every day you sit down in front of your computer screen, we look for a setup. Now, before I forget, uh, we are going to do this on the D1 time frame, the daily time frame. This means we will only look at daily candles. This means that every candle on your chart is one day all right okay and then uh, we are going to look out for two things right we're going to look out for the high and the low let me draw it out we are going to look out for the high and the low of the previous day's candle Right, so that means when we turn on the screen today, when we start looking at the chart today, we will look out for yesterday's high and yesterday's low. All right, and we will trade on yesterday's high and yesterday's low. So as you can see over here, I put EP, right? EP means entry price, right? So we're going to buy at the high of yesterday and we're going to sell at the low of yesterday. All right. So on the chart, this is how it will look. All right. So assuming that we are going to trade on this day, right? Let's assume that this is today. So when we turn on the screen, we will look at yesterday, right? So yesterday's high and yesterday's low. All right. So our entry price will be buy stop at yesterday's high and sell stop at yesterday's low all right okay so on this so assuming this is today it would trigger the buy right it would not trigger the sell right so you just trigger the buy and we have a trade all right let's look at this example over here so assuming this is today right so today we're going to look at yesterday's high Right? and yesterday's low and the same thing we will do a buy stop and a sell stop all right so on today the sell was triggered the buy was not triggered all right so most of the time the trade will trigger in one direction all right you want it to trigger in one direction unlikely you will trigger both the buy and the sell all right so normally what i'll do is at the start of the day so we're talking in singapore time right in singapore time normally i start trading around 7 or 8 a.m in the morning so i will turn on my chart and then i'll place my buy stop and sell stop based on yesterday's candle high or low all right and whichever one is triggered so let's say today the buy stop is triggered I will cancel off my sell or if the sell stop is triggered, I will cancel off my buy. All right. So do, do you all, uh, are you all following so far? All right. So, all right. Great. Okay. So let's say we have identified that uh, yesterday's low, right? We have identified yesterday's low price. So now we're going to go into example trade. All right. So we're going to place a trade. All right. So let's say yesterday's low price is over here. All right. Assuming the price is 1.6461, right? So I put in pending, right? Pending sell stop 1.16461, all right? And then I put in my stop loss, all right? So my stop loss and my take profit are 20 pips, 20, right? 20 pips, 
okay so a 20 pip stop loss so this will be 20 pip above my entry because i'm selling all right and then the take profit will be 20 pips below my entry all right so you're selling you want the price to continue coming down 20 pips for us to take our profit if it goes up 20 pips or more it hits our stop loss all right that's fine so question right some people ask me okay what happens if let's say i place a trade and a stop loss is hit stop loss is hit no problem place the trade again all right so normally what i'll do is i will give it a second chance all right i give it a second chance so the first time entry stop loss i place again sell stop same entry price what is the entry price yesterday's high or yesterday's low all right so if it's a stop loss i place a pending sell stop again so in my entry price stop loss and take profit exactly the same for the second entry second time he stop loss right second time he stop loss okay call it a day right today is a bad day all right which currency pairs can we trade this on right do this on the major pairs right so most of my techniques you can trade it on all the major pairs avoid trading on those uh, exotic pairs all right exotic pairs meaning the spread is three pips or more ignore normally i will ignore right so i only trade on those pairs which are two pips or less all right okay so let's see so there's a daily breakout step by step okay don't worry if you can uh don't don't worry if you can't follow right i'm going to send you a pdf file as well right so i'll send all of you a pdf of this file so you can go through with it uh, you can go through every page step by step and uh, all these uh, instructions will all be there right so you won't feel loss all right so as i mentioned earlier we only do this on the d1 time frame right very important only d1 time frame the daily time frame all right don't do this on h1 don't do this on h4 don't do this on m15 only the d1 time frame next we identify the high or low of the previous candle all right so high or low of the previous candle that's all right nothing else in between open close ignore only the high buy stop low sell stop all right high buy stop low sell stop okay and then next our stop loss and take profit are 20 pips all right two zero so stop loss 20 take profit 20 all right so as i mentioned earlier we trade this only on the major pairs right so i like to do this on euro usd usd jpy aussie usd some people might want to do it on the usd canadian uh, usd swiss franc pound usd that's fine as well all right okay so you can trade this on any pair right the major pairs all right ignore the exotic pairs okay and uh, try not to take too many trades in one day you know i think if you take two or three trades in one day it's good enough yeah okay so uh important thing is to practice this right practice this and then start trading it as soon as possible all right because this is a super easy technique to understand super easy technique to trade and very profitable all right so this is the daily breakout all right so that's the end for this technique as i mentioned we, we took what less than less than i think we took about seven minutes right seven eight minutes yeah so as i mentioned earlier right this is a, a very easy technique to to learn all right so uh, and it's one of my favorite techniques am i still trading this technique yes i'm still doing it every day and it's profitable all right okay all right so now we're going to go on to the usd 100 dollars uh winner all right okay now uh, i need a favor from you guys all right i need a favor from you guys so in the comment section below right because uh, i i want to i want to produce uh, content all right i want to do videos lessons that is relevant to everyone right i want you to learn something from me right i don't want you to just come listen and then you feel it's a waste of time or you didn't learn anything all right so in the comments below please indicate one of these five choices right so please indicate whether uh, number one right never traded anything before that means you're totally new to trading never traded anything before please put number one all right if you have traded before it could be stocks futures gold you know, oil right you've traded those but you have never traded forex then indicate number two 
right? If you're fairly new to trading, you know, less than three months, then please, uh, Forex trading, right? Forex trading, then please indicate number three. Number four is for those people who have traded between three months to a year, right? Less than a year. And for number five is for very experienced traders. That means you've traded for one year or more, right? So you traded for one year or more, then obviously, you're, 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 I'm, I'm not going to, if most of you have traded for at least uh, a year or more, then I'm not going to waste time with the very basic stuff, right? Uh, but if most of you are new to trading or less than three months, then maybe in the next few lessons, I might do some um, basic uh, basic stuff, right? Like how to place an entry, uh, or maybe even how to register a forex account, how to place an entry, how to adjust stop loss, you know, um, how to draw trend lines, that kind of stuff, right? Okay, and then do me a favor as well. After your choice, please put a hashtag FX starts here, right? So for me, for my case, my example, I'm an experienced trader. I've been trading for 12 years, right? So I will put number five and then hashtag FX starts here, all right? So please put one, two, three, four, or five, followed by FX starts here, and I will pick a winner from this, all right? I'll pick a winner from all the people who commented below, all right? So I'm gonna pick the winner tonight, and uh, I'm gonna pick the winner tonight, all right? So uh, give me your comments, all right? If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below as well, all right? So that's all for today's lesson, and uh, Good luck in your trading journey, right? Good luck in your trading journey. So um, the important thing about this technique daily breakout is that uh, you really need to practice it and uh, quickly and then start trading it quickly because it's a very profitable technique. All right, so that's all for this week. Good luck with your trading and I'll see you soon.